Hi friends, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to talk about Thomas More's Utopia. Thomas More wrote Utopia in the year 1516 in Latin language. It was later translated into English in the year 1551. Do remember these two dates because they have been frequently asked in UGC net exam. Thomas More's Utopia starts with a conversation between three people. The first being Peter Giles, second is Thomas More himself and the third is Raphael Hatloday. Raphael Hatloday is the person who gives the account of Utopian society and there was a question in December 2014 wherein they asked that the name Raphael Hatloday in Greek symbolizes and it means dispenser of nonsense. So the word Hatloday in Greek means dispenser of nonsense. So there is a symbolic reference to the name. Also remember that the book is divided into two parts. In the first part, Raphael Hatloday talks about the faults and flaw of England society and government during that time. In the second book, he talks about the description of utopian society, the laws, war, uh, government policies and all other things. So this is how the book is divided into two parts. Also, you must remember that Utopia is a fictional town that was created by Thomas More and this fictional town, uh, Utopia, means no place. Utopia, the Greek word, means no place. So this is also a symbolic reference and it was asked in net exam. So you must remember that Utopia means no place. So in this video, we are going to look at certain important characteristics of Utopian society. So let's begin. Book 1 of Thomas More Utopia opens with Raphael Hathloday telling us that he was sent on a diplomatic mission by King Henry VIII. King Henry VIII sent him on a diplomatic mission wherein he meets another fellow traveller, Italian explorer called Vespucci. Vespucci was a real person who inspired Thomas More and thus Thomas More has referred him in his work Utopia. Also at the same time we must remember that it is during this journey that he comes across the land of Utopia and he is astonished to see the kind of fabulous government that they have. He also points out the flaws of Italian uh, government as well as England's government during that time and he says that you know it is high time that the government policy should change. When Peter Giles and Thomas More ask him that why does he not advise the king about these flaws Raphael Hatloday comments that kings are so busy in minting money and expanding their territory and waging wars that they will not pay heed to my comments. Also, they are surrounded by courtiers who are flatterers. So king only listen to those flatterers and not to the genuine courtiers who want their nation to progress. Raphael Hatloday next talks about the major problem faced by England's government and one of the most important problems that was faced by England during that time was of theft. He says that people uh, who become thieves are either war veterans or are poor farmers, rural people who fall victim of crop failure. He says that the major cause of such uh, criminal activity is poor education system. When government fail to educate people, people turn into criminals and lead into criminal activities. So he talks about several other problems which we discuss in detail uh, in our audio online course. You can get the details of our audio online course on our website. You can visit our website www.arpatakarva.com. You'll find the list of all important writers that we cover in our course. The link of our website and other social media platform are given in the description box below. So before you exit this window, go and check the description box. Now let's look at book 2 of Utopia and all the important characteristics that Thomas More has talked about in the book 2. First important characteristic of Utopian society is no private property. Thomas More was a great believer of Plato. Plato in his work Republic states that the basis of a fair society is abolishing of money and private property. Plato believed that money corrupts and destroys society. The same views were held by Thomas More as well and thus he states in his work that a fair society can only exist when all the property is common and nobody owns anything. Everybody can access public property, they can use public property but they cannot own it. The second important thing about utopian society is their occupation. Utopia is consisting of 54 cities. These 54 cities were planned very systematically and every city had the similar plan. 
Also at the same time, you must remember that every city was surrounded by an agricultural land. So people indulged into two occupations. Number one was farming and number two, they indulged into any other craft according to their own wish. Every individual in utopian society worked for at least six hours every day and the rest of the day they can indulge into the activities they like. The third important characteristic of utopian society is that there were no lawyers in utopian society. Utopian society had very few and limited rules and people used to abide by these rules. Also, since we don't have money and private ownership of property, there were no disputes among people. So lawyers were not needed. So these three are very important characteristics of utopian society. There are many other things that you must keep in mind while you are reading Utopia. Let's talk about these things. Now let's look at utopian society's views on slavery. Slavery existed in utopian society. Slaves were people who were either captured in war or who performed some horrible crimes. These slaves were chained and they had to work constantly. There were so many other people who used to indulge in leisure activities. They can choose the leisure activity according to their choice. But one important thing that you must remember is that dicing and cards, these are two leisure activities which were not the favorite pastimes of utopian people. This was a question in July 2016 wherein they asked that which are the two activities which were not the favorite pastimes of utopian people and the activities are dicing and cards. Now, before we end our discussion on Utopia, let's also look at the kind of houses and the family structure that was there in Utopian society. The uh, people used to live in a patriarchal family and these members would vary from 10 to 16. They cannot be more than 16 and they cannot be less than 10. Also, people used to live in houses which were built identically. These houses were three-storied houses. The front door would open in the street and the back door would open in the garden. So this kind of uh, houses were prominent and common in utopian society. So with this we end our discussion on the utopian society. There are so many other things that uh, are a part of Thomas More's Utopia. We discuss that as a part of our online course. You can look at our online course in our website www.arpatakarva.com. You will also find a list of important writers that you must cover in order to clear UGC Net English. You can like our Facebook page because we run GoNet quiz which will help you to boost your preparation. Subscribe to this YouTube channel before you exit this video so that every time I come online you will be notified. With this we end this video. Thank you so much. Love you. Happy learning and keep loving literature.